Hi guys, let's do this next question based on vector spaces. Let V be a vector space of all functions from R to R. Which of the following set is not a subspace of V? First one I've given is the set of all fx's such that f3 is equal to 1 plus f of minus 4. Second one is the set of all fx's such that f of 0 is equal to f of 1. Third one is f of uh, x's, the set of all f, f of x's such that f of minus 1 is equal to 0. And the last one, last option is set of all continuous functions in V. Well, so first of all, you should know what is a subspace. A vector space is a set of elements called vectors along with two operations, vector addition and scalar multiplication. A subspace is a subset, subset of a vector space V. And it has to be a, a, a vector space in itself and a vector space in itself. In order to check for this, we just have to check for two properties, closure under addition and closure under scalar multiplication. So if say W is the set that we are looking at and W is a subset of V, then for every U V belonging to W, U plus V, should also belong to W. And number two, for any scalar C belonging to R and any vector U belonging to W, C times U should belong to W. This could be combined also, which is one of the theorems in linear algebra. You can combine it and you can take a linear combination of these two vectors and say that if two vectors are in the set V in the uh, in the space V, then uh, in the in the space W, then its linear combination should be in W. And if that is happening, then W will be called not just a subset of V, but a subspace of V. Okay. So well, is that happening here? Let's check. Let's start with the first option. So the first option is a set of all functions uh, such that f of 3 is equal to 1 plus f of minus 4. So let f and g be two functions in this space. We need to check. Is say c1 times f plus c2 times g also in w. To be in w, always remember the value of the function at 3 should be same as 1 plus f of minus 4. Well, so we will consider the value at 3. Consider c1 f plus c2 g at 3. So that would be equal to c1 f1 3 plus c2 g 3, right? Well, that is equal to C1, 1 plus F of minus 4, because F3 is equal to 1 plus F of minus 4. And since G is also in W, so G also gives, gives us the same value. So you will get C1 plus C1 F minus 4 plus C2 plus C2 G minus 4. So you will get C1 plus C2 plus plus C1 F minus 4 plus C2 G minus 4 which clearly is not equal to it is not equal to 1 plus C1F plus C2G at minus 4. No, it's not equal to that. So this is not a subspace. This is W1. W1 clearly is not a subspace. 
W1 is not a subspace. What about W2? W2 is the set of all functions where F0 is equal to F1. F0 is equal to F1. W2 is the set of all functions where F0 is equal to F1. So let's take F and G belonging to W2. Again, we need to check C1 times F plus C2 times G belongs to W2 or not. So consider C1 F plus C2 G at 0. That will be equal to C1 F0 plus C2 G0. Now, F and G are in W2. That means F0 is F1 and G0 is G1. So, this means this is same as saying C1 F plus C2 G at 1, which is which means that, yes, this, this is very much in W. So, the answer to this is yes, it is happening. So, this is a subspace. Let's look at option C, W3. W3, I've given F of minus 1 is 0. F of minus 1 is equal to 0. Let F and G again belong to W3. We have to check C1 times F plus C2 times G belongs to W3 or not. To check that, what I'm going to do is I will consider C1F plus C2G at minus 1. And that's going to be equal to C1F at minus 1 plus C2G at minus 1. And that is going to be 0 plus 0 because F minus 1 is 0, G minus 1 is 0. So hence, this is also equal to 0. So therefore, W3 is also a subspace of the vector space provided to us, V. The last option is set of all continuous functions in V. So option D is set of all continuous functions in V. Set of all continuous functions. So let F and G belong to Say W4. W4. That is the set of all continuous functions. So this implies that F, G are continuous. If you have two continuous functions and you take a linear combination of those, is there any chance that it will not be continuous? Absolutely not. In case F and G are continuous, C1F plus C2G is definitely continuous. So your property that you require of a subspace is automatically getting satisfied. Therefore, W4 is a subspace of V. The only one which is not a subspace of V is the option A. And hence, option A should be the correct option. W1, which is the set of all fx's such that f3 is equal to a fixed value 1 plus f of minus 4. You would observe that mostly these kind of uh, you know sets where you have something particular getting added like this might not turn out to be a subspace. But whatsoever, you must check. It's a very basic definition that you have to check. Closure under addition and scalar multiplication. Once checked, you can be sure that what is your correct answer. A should be the answer here. That's not a subspace.